Hey everyone, Mike here from ArnoldTutoring.com with a good work rate problem. So this is off a former GRE um, and let's read it and see what we have to do. So pipe A fills a tank in three hours, pipe B fills the same tank in two hours. How many minutes will it take both pipes to fill two-thirds of the tank? So in other words, they're saying you can use one pipe alone and it'll fill this particular tank in three hours. A different pipe will fill it in two hours, but now we want to you know, basically turn both pipes on at the same time and fill this tank together, but we want to see how long it'll take to get two-thirds of that tank full. A couple ways to do this problem, but we want to try and follow our steps um, with work rate problems. So the first one is identify that it is a work rate, so it's classic, um, you know, takes three hours to build a house, takes two hours to fill a pipe, something like that, so we know it's a work rate, so we've identified that, and we know our formula for that is amount or number of things we're filling equals our rate times the time it takes. And this can be transformed if we want rate on its own, which we know we're always going to want, equals the amount. So again, that's the number of things that are being built or filled divided by the time it takes. So step two, I'll say, is combined rate. And we should know that that's our other formula in the work rates um, topic. It's rate 1 plus rate 2. And if there was a third tank, it would be plus rate 3, a fourth tank plus rate 4. We can, essentially, we're just adding rates together. So if we use rate equals amount divided by time, I'll say rate 1 will even change that to rate A, and rate 2 we'll call rate B for pipe A and pipe B. So rate A... Well, it fills one tank, so that's the amount, one, divided by three hours. So, in other words, it fills a third of a tank per hour, which should make sense. Plus rate B, again, one tank, but in two hours. Add these two together, a quick common denominator gives us two six plus three six, which equals five six. In other words, uh, turning them both on together fills five sixths of the tank, per hour. Okay, so five sixths of a tank per hour. Again, this is just the combined rate. Now, we don't really care that it takes 60 minutes or a full hour to fill five sixths of the, of the tank. We want to fill two thirds of the tank. So there's a couple ways we can do this. What I would do is set up a ratio right now and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it that way. So I'll, I'll sort of put step three as the, the ratio uh, for what's needed. The only the only kind of tough part about this is that it, it builds fractions within fractions, but it still shouldn't be that bad. So once again, we can say that 5, 6 for 1 hour, or 60 minutes, has to equal 2 thirds of the tank being filled for x minutes, where x is really what we're looking for. Again, this should be a pretty good review of our ratio, right? Uh, the ratio we're setting up is um, sort of portion of the tank divided by time it takes. Since we found that combined rate, and we know that's an hourly rate, we're filling 5 6 of it in 1 hour, or 60 minutes, we have to keep that ratio the same when we're filling two-thirds. So that's going to be for x minutes, and that's the, that's the x we're looking for. So quick uh, cross-multiplication, and you get 5x over 6 equals 60 times two-thirds. So this is 5x over 6 equals 40. 5x equals 240, just by multiplying the 6 to both sides, and x equals 48. So we knew that we would fill 5 6 of it, or very close to filling the whole thing, in 60 minutes, so 2 thirds in 48 minutes does actually make sense. Again, that's, that's sort of the ratio method. Uh, you could also figure out what it takes to fill an entire tank. Um, 
but I think that's just adding an extra step. You'd still have to multiply by 6 over 5 to get rid of the 5, 6, and then bring it back down to 2 thirds. So I actually like this method of creating your ratio and then just setting an equal ratio with the one variable that you're looking for. So hopefully this is helpful. Follow those three steps. Remember, this second step is really key. We have three variables here in this formula, rate, time, and the amount. But rate is always going to be that key formula because that's the only way we can add them together. You can't add amounts together. You can't out add times together because it's, it's kind of like comparing apples and oranges. Once we get rates for each person or each tank or each builder, whatever it may be, then you can add them together to get that combined rate. Hopefully you'll crush this uh, work rate problem next time you get it, and you can always send us some more questions if you have any. Thanks.